Hey everyone, I'm David Caracci with the Vet Group. Today we are at the Japanese Tea Garden in San Antonio and we're going to cover a few topics. The first one I want to cover is what is MRP and what does it stand for and why there's a little MRP logo below my name. The second thing I want to talk about is a little bit about my military uh, career before I got into real estate. And the third thing I want to cover is how important and how vast the military uh, uh, community is here in San Antonio. MRP stands for Military Relocation Professional. And what that means is that agent has taken the required amount of classes and has completed the right amount of transactions in order to earn the certificate saying that they are MRP certified. So that is the book answer of what a military relocation professional does. But for me, what that means is that real estate agents or that real estate professional has taken the extra steps to fully understand what it's like to PCS or ETS in the military. There's a lot of extra things that a realtor has to think of when working with military families. Things like running a CRM, um, looking up the rental analysis of that area, and also looking for different exit strategies, which we discussed in uh, previous videos before. All these things, things coupled together with the added stress of deployments and relocating uh, at a, short, a moment short notice are things that these professionals need to understand. I joined the service in 2009. I joined as a combat medic with the United States Army, and I was sent to Fort Benning, Georgia for my basic training. After that, I was sent over to here, San Antonio, for my medical training, and then instantly shipped over to Fort Drum, New York, home of the 10th Mountain Division, uh, to be assigned with 187 Infantry. In 2011, I competed and earned my EFMB, which is my expert field medical badge. To me, that's one of the badges that took the most amount of energy for me to, um, to go through the class and actually earn at the end of the day. There's over 300 people who started in that class, and out of our class up in Fort Drum, only six of us actually received our badge at the end of the class. In year 2012, it was a very fun year for myself. It was the year of competitions. At Fort Drum, we were preparing for the best medic competition, where all the medics at Fort Drum competed to go on to the Army Best Medic Competition. I was one of six uh, medics that were chosen uh, to represent Fort Drum, in the Army Best Medic Competition here in San Antonio. That was a very fun competition. Uh, before I got to train with the PA and I worked with the schoolhouse for uh, getting in shape, which unfortunately I'm not in shape anymore, but it was a very fun time. And unfortunately I didn't win the Best Medic Competition. Uh, in fact, we kind of placed right in the middle, but it was the most fun I had in the military when it comes to just training environments, um, just because there was so much positive atmosphere and so much training involved um, in that competition itself. Definitely 2012 was the year member for myself in terms of the training in the military. In 2013, I deployed to RCE's Afghanistan. Now, I went with the uh, 187 Infantry Battalion. Originally, I was assigned to the Scouts for the first half deployment, and when I got my promotion to Corporal, they moved me to BCO uh, Company Medic for, for BCO. When I was there, actually, I re-enlisted and got assigned to um, Fort Sam Houston during that re-enlistment uh, package. But also while I was there, I earned quite a few awards as well as my CMB, my combat medical badge. Um, it's kind of a two-faced uh, badge to have because it's it's something that reminds me that I you know I deployed and I actually was effective as a medic while I was there. Um, but unfortunately, that means I I worked on a you know um, one of our brothers uh, while we were there too. So um, definitely a very emotional when I actually start going into the, the fine details of um, certain. Uh, specific events during deployments, um, but those are the things that you know, a lot of a lot of people won't understand unless they actually deployed. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. In 2014, I finally arrived at Fort Sam Houston, back to San Antonio. This is where my true passion for real estate all started. My wife and I bought a duplex, and I've explained this on other videos before. But we we bought a duplex. We rented out one side, and we live in the other. So we called that house hacking. And during that time of uh, while well, stationed here at Fort Sam for my two and a half years, um, I helped a lot of other soldiers and airmen um, kind of follow the same same tracks and actually buy a duplex as well. Um, so house hacking really helped out because even though you can afford the payment by yourself, when you had that tenant there, the tenant's paying your rent. So 
that was my initial start and my initial passion into real estate. And that kind of led me to uh, eventually transition out of the military, get my real estate license and actually work that full time. San Antonio is a very heavily populated community when it comes to veterans and uh, active duty members. Currently there's about 80,000 uh, active duty uh, military members here in San Antonio and we're just over 250,000 veterans here in San Antonio. So San Antonio is actually ranks number seven when it comes to a military community uh, in terms of uh, population and to be more specific it's actually Bear County is number seven in the United States. So um, when they say San Antonio military city that is truly um, a real meaning because there are a lot of military members here. Truthfully there are no classes that's going to teach you the stresses involved in deployments the family atmosphere of coming back after deployments, or even the, the stress involved with uh, PCSing to a different part of the country that you've never been to before. These are all things that the, uh, the MRP class will try to help with, but unfortunately, unless you've actually experienced it, as in you're a veteran, you will not truly understand those stress factors that come involved in those situations. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, make sure you find yourself a veteran that's a realtor that also has an MRP qualification. That means they've gotten that one extra step to truly understand the VA loan and all the other entitlements that we have as military personnel. When it comes time for you to either purchase your home or sell your home, contact myself or another MRP specialist. Uh, my number is 210-771-1658. I'm the team lead for the VET group and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Here's some Japanese tea along with our Bill Miller's tea. Scott, sum up today filming at the Japanese tea garden. Hot and sweaty. Hot and sweaty. It's 100 degrees, oh, close to 100 degrees, and the humidity is like, whew, like 80%. It's ridiculous. It's like, might as well be raining while it's 100 degrees right now. It is so hot. Scott, what do you have over there? Uh, some Japanese Hawaiian blue pop sodas. Blue pop soda. All right, everyone. <laughs> Let's get back to the office.